Welcome to the Body Guardian One patient video. The Body Guardian One is a heart monitor that continuously records every single heartbeat while you live your life. It can and should be worn during all normal daily activities. The monitor cannot be worn while traveling on an aircraft. This monitor does not operate outside the United States. Contact patient services if you plan to travel outside the United States. Body Guardian One is not waterproof. Keep the monitor away from water. Remove the monitor and the lead set when you bathe, swim, or perform other similar activities. Then reattach lead wires afterwards. You do not need to remove the ECG electrodes. In addition, Body Guardian One cannot be worn while undergoing an MRI. Remove the monitor, lead wires, and ECG electrodes when preparing for an MRI. It is important to understand that Preventus is not an emergency response service. Contact your doctor immediately if your symptoms worsen. If you experience a medical emergency, you must call 911 or seek emergency services. As part of your prescription, you should have received a Body Guardian One box with a patient instruction manual enclosed. Be sure to keep it handy. Please ensure all content pictured in the patient instruction manual were provided, including one monitor, monitor case, belt clip, two batteries, battery charger, ECG electrodes, and ECG lead wires. Now let's go through the instructions for using Body Guardian One. First, prepare your skin. If hair is present, remove the hair where you will place the monitor. Thoroughly clean the area with soap and water. Dry the area completely. Do not apply lotions, oils, or perfumes. Next, attach the electrodes to the lead wires. Snap one ECG electrode into each of the five colored leads. Remove the adhesive backing from each of the electrodes, then attach them to your chest as follows. Align the black lead with the left side of your neck, two to three inches below your left collarbone. Attach the red lead below the black lead, under the breast to the outer rib cage. The white lead should align with the right side of your neck, two to three inches below your right collarbone. The green lead attaches below the white lead, under the breast to the outer rib cage. Finally, the brown lead is attached to the center of your chest, slightly to the right of the sternum. Only apply the electrodes to intact, clean skin. Do not apply over open wounds, lesions, infected or inflamed areas. If you have skin allergies or hypersensitivities to adhesives, consult your doctor to select the appropriate option. Run the lead wires from the electrodes neatly under your clothing to your belt area, where you will clip the monitor. Insert the battery into the monitor by sliding the battery cover off the back of the monitor and inserting one of the batteries at an angle so that the battery contacts enter the compartment first. Place the cover back onto the monitor, then slide it into place. When the battery is installed correctly, the touch screen displays this screen. If you do not see this screen after two to three minutes, contact Preventus at 888-500-3522 and press 114. While you are using the monitor, you will want to charge the other battery so it will be ready for use. Place the other battery into the charger. Plug the charger into a wall outlet. While charging, the charger displays either a pink light indicating the battery is charging or a blue light indicating the battery is fully charged. The battery is typically fully charged within four hours. To begin monitoring, plug the connector on the lead set cable into the monitor. The monitor will alert you with a beep when the lead set is securely plugged into the monitor. On the touch screen, a spinning circle will be displayed. Do not touch the screen at this time. After several seconds, the message monitoring appears on the screen. You are now monitoring. You must take an initial ECG recording to start your monitoring service. Wait at least one minute after you first see the monitoring screen, then press and hold the red record button for three seconds. On the touch screen, tap none accidental, then tap submit. On the touch screen, tap Resting, then tap Submit. If you see this screen, press the red record button on the monitor. This will display the monitoring screen. You are now monitoring. 
After you have successfully started monitoring, slide the monitor into the belt clip and attach the belt clip to your belt. All five leads must remain securely attached to your chest during your prescription. Let's look at recording your symptoms. If you begin to feel symptoms related to the reason your monitor was prescribed, such as dizziness or shortness of breath, you can record these events. First, on the monitor, press and hold the red record button for three seconds. Remove the monitor from the belt clip. On the touch screen, tap the symptoms that you're feeling. You can select more than one. Then tap Submit. Then select your level of activity when you were feeling the symptom and tap Submit when finished. Slide the monitor back into the belt clip to continue monitoring. You will need to replace the rechargeable battery in the monitor every 24 hours. The monitor will alert you with a beep when the battery is low. To replace the battery, remove the monitor from the belt clip. Unplug the lead set connector from the monitor. This step is required before continuing. Slide the battery cover off the back of the monitor and remove the battery from the monitor. Insert the fully charged battery into the monitor at an angle so that the battery contacts enter the compartment first. The monitor will power on. Slide the battery cover back onto the monitor and slide the monitor into the belt clip and attach it to your belt. Place the battery into the charger and ensure the charger is plugged into a wall outlet to begin charging. Once properly placed, the charger will display either a pink charging or blue charged light. You will need to change the ECG electrodes every three days or when they no longer adhere to the skin. To change the electrodes, remove the leads from the electrodes on your chest. Slowly peel back and roll the adhesive on the back of the electrodes away from your chest. It is easiest to remove the electrodes by applying warm water while showering or blot with a damp cloth. After removed, dispose of the old electrodes. Attach the new electrodes to the lead wires. Remove the adhesive backing from each of the electrodes, then attach them to your chest. Place the new electrodes about one inch away from the location where the electrodes you just removed were attached. Even when the Body Guardian 1 is collecting data, the monitor turns off the touchscreen to conserve battery. This is normal. The monitor is still performing its monitoring functions. To activate the touchscreen, press and release the record button on the monitor. Now, let's look at what to do when your study concludes. At the end of your monitoring prescription, the monitor will display the monitoring complete screen and it will be time to return your equipment. Remove Body Guardian 1 as soon as your physician or qualified healthcare professional ends your service. Any data or information transmitted or received by Preventus after your physician or qualified healthcare professional has ended your service will not be processed, reviewed, or analyzed by Preventus and Preventus shall have no liability for any such information or data. To avoid financial liability and to ensure that you do not receive a bill for the value of the equipment in your possession, please return the equipment immediately after your service ends. If you are returning your equipment to your healthcare provider, follow the specific instructions they have provided. If you're returning your equipment to Preventus, Use the following instructions. First, remove the battery from the monitor. Place the monitor into the foam pouch provided, then into the original postage paid box. Then place the batteries, battery charger, belt clip, ECG lead set, any unused ECG electrodes, and patient survey into the box. Remove the adhesive strip from the flap on the shipping box and seal securely. The prepaid return label is already affixed to the bottom of the box. Drop the package off at the shipping carrier listed on the label or call Preventus at 888-500-3522 to schedule a pickup. Clinical reports are made available to your doctor. Only your physician can discuss the recordings received and the output of your report. Your feedback is valuable. Please complete the following survey and return it inside the box once your study is completed. The survey can also be completed online using the link shown here. Our patient service team is available 24-7 to support you and answer your questions. Contact us at 888-500-3522 and press 1-1.
or email monitor troubleshooting at preventus.com. If you have any questions related to returning your monitor or need billing assistance, contact the numbers listed below. Thank you for allowing us to serve you.